In the previous lecture, you understand how to find the largest number among three input numbers. In this lecture, we're going to create a simple multiplication table. I'm going to create a simple Python program that create a multiplication table of any number. I'm going to get the table value from the user and create a multiplication table. So let's take a look at how to create this simple program in Python. So I'm going to start by getting the user input. So here I'm going to create a variable number is equal to and then I'm going to just get the user input. So I'm going to call a function input. And in this function, I'm going to say enter multiplication table of. And then when the user entered the number, I'm going to just get that number and store it in this number variable. But as you know, this input function is going to return the number as string. So we need to convert this string to integer. So I'm going to cut this statement and call the integer function just like this. And then I'm going to paste my input function inside this integer function. So now when the user specify number, this function is going to convert that string into number and store in this number variable. Just out of that, down here, I'm going to just create a for loop. So here I'm going to start with the for keyword, then specify i in range. I'm going to call a function range. And then in this range function, in the parentheses, I'm going to specify 10. So I'm going to just iterate this for loop 10 times. Then I'm going to specify here colon and down here in this for loop, I'm going to just print i. When I execute this file, you can notice I'm going to have the program will ask me to specify a multiplication table of 2. When I specify 2 and when I press enter, it's going to just print 10 numbers. For now, let me just specify comment for this statement. And now let me execute this file again. And now you can notice this for loop is going to print 10 numbers. It start from 0 and end at 9. Now what I want, I want to create a table from 1 to 10. I want to create a table start from 1 and end at 10. I'm going to specify here parameter 1 to this range and here I'm going to specify 11. So I'm going to specify two argument to this range function. I want to start this iteration from 1 and end this iteration before 11. So it's going to iterate 10 times. When I execute this file, you can notice I'm going to have 1 to 10 values. Now, once I have this 1 to 10 number, we can multiply it with this number. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to simply call a format method here. So here I'm going to simply call a single code, then specify curly braces, then specify here x for multiplication, curly braces again, equal to sign, and curly braces again. Just after that, I'm going to just call a format method, just like this. And then here I'm going to specify this number variable. I'm going to pass this number. Now at this point, this statement is going to return error because we just commented this statement. So let me just create here a simple variable num is equal to 2. Once I get this value in this curly braces, let me specify here the i value. I'm going to specify here comma and then specify here i. Again, I'm going to specify comma here and specify the result of this multiplication inside this curly braces. So here I'm going to say number multiply by i, just like this. I'm going to just specify the number inside this curly braces, get the value from this range and specify that inside this curly braces and multiply this number by this i. I just specify the value inside this curly braces. Now when I execute this program, you can notice I'm going to have the multiplication table of 2. When I execute this file, you can notice I'm going to have the table of 2. Now let me just uncomment this statement and get the input from the user. Let me just uncomment this statement and now when I execute this file, the python will ask you to enter the table of. So here I'm going to specify I want to create a table of 10. I'm going to specify here 10 and press enter. When I press enter, you can notice you have the table of 10. If I execute this program again, and if I want to get the table of 12, I'm going to specify here 12. And when I press enter, you're going to get the table of 12. So using this program, you can create any multiplication table. Your multiplication table code is now ready. I hope you understand this example. Just practice with this example and understand the logic behind this follow. That is all for now. I will see you in the next one.